On the line with me right now, we do have Brad from Three Doors Down. Man, I appreciate you calling in today. My absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me today. No problem, man. Let's get right into it. Uh, one of the reasons you're calling in today, the Rock and Roll Express Tour. Three Doors Down, Collective Soul, Soul Asylum, all on tour. A couple dates rolling through Michigan as well, August 4th and August 7th. That is a hell of a bill, man. How did uh, that one come about? You know, it, uh, I, we've been friends with the Collective Soul guys for years and played several shows over the years and, and – uh, uh, kind of more more shows of, of recently over the last couple of years and you know we we talked about touring together and um and now we have the same management company so i think it's kind of happened in-house there with with some of the with some of the guys in, in the management uh world and man we they asked us about it and they asked those guys about it we were all happy to go out together and and, uh, man, it, it's really been a great show so far, and uh, I would look forward to get better and better. Um, you know, I was listening through uh, through those guys' sets the other night, and, you know, we get out and we, we play a lot of our hits, and, and we play a few songs that we just kind of like playing. But when you listen through all these bands' uh, shows and their set list, I'll bet you there's less than, like, ten songs throughout three bands all night long. There might be ten songs that – that aren't like like full on radio singles. I mean, every every freaking song you know, every one of them. And uh, I, I'd have to be pretty fun as a spectator to get out there and, and be the show that that you just know every single song that's being played. Those are some of the best shows to go to as well. Yeah, when you're a fan, even fans forget about some of those songs. So as you're going along, you hear that song. Oh yeah, I forgot about this song. I love that song. Those are the great shows to go to. Other awesome shows to go to, in my opinion, are the acoustic tours that go around. You guys actually just did one earlier on this year, back in January and February, the Back Porch Jam. How did that go for you guys? It went really, really good, man. We, I, I really enjoyed it out there playing acoustic like that because it gives you a chance to get back to, to playing those songs uh, how they were written. You know, for us, I'm, I'm maybe not for a lot of bands, but we write most of our songs acoustic. You know, so it gives us a chance to not – worry so much about like putting on a show as it is about getting out there and performing the songs and and getting down to the roots of them and uh, I really enjoyed it and we're actually I think going to do that tour again at the beginning of next year so so uh, maybe we'll have some some dates near you guys. That would be sweet to have that come through I know it finished up in Detroit last year maybe uh, the same is in order but speaking of playing those songs stripped down that's how you did it and how you wrote some of the songs what's it looking like for you guys are you going back in the studio do you have plans for that what's the uh, future for you guys with Three Doors Down? Yeah I think after this uh, this tour is over I think this fall we're going to start writing some more and uh, I don't know if we'll make a full on record or just like make some songs or you know it's like the delivery method of music has changed so much in the last few years that it's like it's kind of like no set way of doing it so when we get to writing we're just going to see what the best avenue will be to put those songs out and uh you know and it, it doesn't really make me any difference of how we put it out and what form of fashion as long as people get to hear it and, and people like it i mean that's all that really matters to us because because we just like to you know we've always kind of looked at it as though um uh, you know, a lot of bands kind of go on tour to promote a record. Well, we just like to make songs so we can go back on tour. <laughs> as, long as, as long as people know the songs and we get to go play shows, man, that's all that really matters. And the fans dig it, too, so it's something fun for you and something fun for them. Hey, real quick, I do want to talk about the Better Life Foundation. You guys do have the uh, 15th annual coming up, the uh, 15th annual Better Life Foundation concert, you and Collective Soul, October 27th. Tell us a little bit about that particular charity, uh, the good they do, and uh, how people can get involved. Absolutely. Well, this is, like you said, this is our 15th year of the Better Life Foundation, and um, it started out along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, where it was our, our original hometown there. And, and uh, we started out just benefiting, like, children's charities and homeless homeless shelters, food pantries, uh, things to do with uh, uh, special needs homes and things like that. And over the years, it's just grown to where we, like, it's, it's not just along the Mississippi Gulf Coast anymore. It's, it's pretty much a national thing that, you know, in times after natural disasters or, or areas that are in need, that, that we're able to go in and, and uh, contribute to, to, like, grassroots efforts. And we're really, really careful about what we contribute to because we don't want to contribute to things that will waste the money. You know, it's a dollar in, do, uh, dollar out foundation. So we don't want to, like, in turn contribute to charities that wind up spending the money on, like, bull. You know, we, we like to 
two things that really make a difference. And so if people want to make a contribution to the foundation, you can you can be assured that we're going to make sure that the money goes to something it should go to. It's not going in somebody's pocket and it's not getting wasted on this or that. Um, and if people want to make a contribution, they can go through the uh, Three Doors Down website, threedoorsdown.com, or you can also go to the betterlifefoundation.org and uh, make a contribution there, and uh, and we'd greatly appreciate it. And the people that will ultimately receive the benefit from it will greatly appreciate it too. Well, congrats on the success of that. Yeah, like you said, dollar in, dollar out is one of the uh, best things that anybody making a donation can hear. You know that money is going to go where it needs to be. But, Brad, thank you again. We appreciate you uh, calling in. Looking forward to seeing you. The Rock and Roll Express Tour, August 4th in Kalamazoo, and August 7th, Sterling Heights at the Michigan Lottery Amphitheater. Three Doors Down, Collective Soul, and Soul Asylum. Again, thank you for calling in, man. We'll uh, see you soon. Man, I appreciate you having me today, and thank you to everybody out there listening. Thank you for everything over the years, and we look forward to seeing y'all and and getting out there and, and rattling some walls.